What is up guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you see some of my other videos from earlier this week, I was running around. Um, even though I was running around, this week was kind of crazy. Tuesday I was supposed to have a customer, a full car and a set of fronts. Um, he forgot about his appointment. I posted on that video that he was a no-show. So I mean, he messaged me later, but at the time, like I said, he didn't show up. Uh, I had a, I was supposed to have a car this morning. I talked to the kid earlier this week. He was down to do it. And uh, I messaged him last night. Messed again this morning, didn't hear nothing from us. So it's kind of crazy, but I had two no-shows this week. I, you know, I've been having pretty good luck without having no-shows, but it is what it is, you know? I can't go crazy, I have to keep moving forward. So I also have another truck, and that's why I've double booked them, because if someone always, if that happens and someone doesn't show up or something happens, then I have another vehicle. So a customer's on the way, he messaged me, he's gonna drop off a truck. I have another customer that's going out of town that's gonna drop a, a vehicle off. I gotta do some stuff on that. And also, Sunday morning, I have to do a set of fronts and a visor too. So stuff constantly pops up, so you have to just keep rolling with it. But on the other side of that, I got stuff that I need to be doing. Like, I need to get my business tax uh, numbers and everything all situated. I need to have that done by the end of the week. Um, plenty of stuff I can keep cleaning up on my own, and working on social media, um, videos. I need to get a video up for my other YouTube channel. And this Sunday, I'm gonna have a buddy on the YouTube channel. So hopefully this video gets uploaded before that. Um, but like I said, it's always something to do. It's always something to keep going. So I'm waiting on him to drop this truck off soon. I'll show you guys what that is. Um, and then we'll keep it moving. So I actually cleaned my car up yesterday, so this thing is looking pretty sweet, but I'm getting kind of tired of driving this car every day, putting a lot of miles on it. It's just hard to keep it clean. Now, this is pretty much how I've been uh, stacking all my tools when I've been driving. So I've been putting my stacker there, I have all my 10 boxes here, so I got some flex film, I got some solar free. But the thing that's tough with this is it's hard for me to get my peel board in here because there's not a lot of room. I have to flip the seat down, stuff the peel board in so that's why i want to try to get back to driving my truck because this thing is pretty full as you see here i can't fit a lot of anything else in there until i put this in the back seat and just move stuff around so so what i was saying before is i got my car cleaned up it's looking good i've been driving this car a lot because usually in the winter time i put snow tires on the car so it can drive better my truck it's two-wheel drive truck it is not going to do good in the snow but one of the things i was saying is that once I put all my window film right here and stack it up and then put my stacker here, I don't have a ton of room to try to fit my peel board in when I go to certain locations. Like I don't need my peel board every single day, so I don't need to take it every day. But um, having that stacker right here and a bunch of film in there fills this trunk up good. So I'm really wanting to get my truck out soon. Um, but right now the roads are pretty clear, which is good. You know, our driveway is clear. The road outside is really nasty but the main roads are really good but the thing is i really have to watch if it's going to snow or not because if i'm driving my two-wheel drive truck and get caught in a snowstorm i'm done but since that heater's turned off i got this ford in here so he wants to do 20 percent all the way around the sides on here and then he wants to put five percent visor strip on top now with these fords you don't have any type of dot matrix around the mirror mount there and then back here, I got the buttons I gotta deal with on the side windows. And then on the back windows, there's no dot matrix. So you gotta cut it right on the seals. So this truck is, is not what I would call a nice truck to just whip out real quick. I'm probably gonna have to end up taking these out. So that's gonna take more time. I didn't really quote it for that because I wasn't sure when he said the make and model of the truck, I didn't know if it was gonna have those buttons on there. Even when I Googled it, I didn't really see those buttons on the pictures online. So. I'm gonna have to pop this out and tint it and cut those out and put them back in so that's not fun. And like I said, I gotta deal with that mirror mount. So right now I'm gonna get started, get this thing done, get this thing knocked out and I'll bring you guys back after that.
Now all of these windows, I brought the film inside and I just cut them out inside. I trimmed them to fit, because remember, there's no dot matrix on these older Fords. So everything I did, I just trimmed them to fit really good. Try to just, I just put the film in here and I trimmed every piece inside the car. I don't like to jump in the back of the bed and then come back in here. So I trim everything inside. Try my best not to leave any light gaps. I mean, they're a little bit tougher to do, a little bit more of a pain, but um, usually the seals aren't really the cleanest down there. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, I removed the extended cab windows. I took them out. You gotta take the screws out. You gotta pop the pin out and the glass completely comes out of there. So that one on that side, I could not break free the uh, screws. I and mean, I didn't wanna risk it. I didn't wanna try to break it. So I actually left that one in there and I trimmed as best as I can around there. From the inside, you don't notice, or the outside either, you don't even notice it. So that one didn't come out, I had to mess with that. That's why these trucks is honestly just take a little bit more to do, but this truck is clean. This truck is a really pretty clean truck. So um, so it, it came out really good. So, so I just got this Ford finished up. It's a little bit more intense than just a newer truck. Like I was saying, and like I'll show you, you gotta deal with the button windows, the rear slider has no matrix to hide film behind. You have to trim it to fit. The mirror, when you're doing the visor strip, has no matrix up there. So you have the mirror button. I trimmed around that. It takes a little bit more work. Actually, this thing took me a while to do it. Like I said, I tinted the size and the rear. Once again, on the driver's side window, for some reason, I don't know what happened. I ended up having a little bit of issue on this, so I redid this one, put another piece on there. So I did this, redid this one. Um, you know, some of these old trucks, you get a lot of these scratches on there, really nothing you can do about that, but I think it looks good how it is. It's all faded out now. So, like I said, it is what it is. I was supposed to have another car come in. He, he's a no-show, so I had two no-shows this week, but this took a lot longer than what I expected. So, you know what? I think things kind of work out the way they work out, so. This one is done. I'm gonna let the customer know he can get it. This truck is clean. It looks good on the rims and everything. It's a nice looking truck. So now that it has a tent, things looking sweet. Remember, I did a visor strip. And I did 20% around the whole rest of the, of the truck. So back window's done, front window's done, and a 5% visor strip. So this thing looks a lot better than when we did fishbowl. The owner knew that. So now we got this thing faded, man. So thanks for watching. Remember, check out my other channel. This is just a quick daily blog. I had this. I got some other things to do. I gotta go give out some quotes. I got some stuff I still gotta finish up on my computer in the house. And maybe I'll see if I can get this video uploaded. We'll see. But hey, thanks you guys for watching. Check out this channel. And remember, hit that subscribe button, man, because I got more content coming soon. I'm out.